Hello there. My name is Peter, but you may know me better as Nostalgia Nerd. And I know what you've been thinking lately. You've been thinking as we follow the twists and turns of this, the most riveting of Christmas stories. Why have we been watching this on a Packard Bell computer and not an advent? It's a very good question and one that I'd like to be able to answer myself, but ultimately, this is my channel. I do what the hell I like. You can shut your Christmas cake holes. I hope then you enjoy the next chapter that we find behind today's doors in this, the most traditional of traditional Christmas traditions, the Packard Bell calendar. I'm Nostalgia Nerd. Picks and Cone are standing out in the cold. They knock against the window. It opens. Hi. He tells the others that he's not allowed to play hockey and that he's been told to concentrate on his homework and his chores at home. Pix and Co. look terribly frustrated. What about the game in ten days' time? Rumble doesn't want to admit it, but he has to face the fact that they're going to have to find a new player. At that moment, they hear footsteps on the stairs, and Rumble has to close the window. Rumble's father walks into the room. Rumble, I'm doing this for your own good. He goes on to talk about responsibility and credibility and that he knows Rumble has a heavy weight on his shoulders. Nevertheless, he thinks it's good for him to be well prepared so that he can take over the farm when the time comes. Rumble tries to explain that he's not interested in the farm. He wants to have a career as an ice hockey player. He doesn't get very far though. It's like talking to a wall. Rumble, I know playing hockey's fun, but you have to think about the future. He pulls out a piece of paper from his pocket and hands it to Rumble. What? You're not serious? 